So I wanted to make this video and compare these two games, Ready or Not versus Ground Branch. Now I know I can't go over every single feature that these games have, and I know I'm gonna miss some things, but I wanted to make something that will help you decide which game to buy. If you are still unsure, watch this video and hopefully you can decide after this. Ready or Not and Ground Branch are both tactical shooters that focus on realism and strategic gameplay. While they have similarities, they also have their own unique features that make them stand out. Let's start with Ground Branch. This game has been in development for a long time and was originally designed to be the spiritual successor of the classic tactical shooter Rainbow Six. This game has a strong emphasis on tactical gameplay and realism, with a focus on teamwork and communication. One of the most notable features of Ground Branch is its detailed weapon customization. You can customize your weapon with a huge range of attachments, allowing you to create a loadout that suits your playstyle. On the other hand, Ready or Not is a fairly new game that has already gained a lot of attention in the gaming community. The game is set in a modern day United States and follows a SWAT team as they tackle various high risk scenarios. Ready or Not is also focused on realism and tactical gameplay, with a strong emphasis on player choice. One of the standout features of Ready or Not is its AI system. The game features advanced AI that reacts realistically to your actions, making each mission feel unique and challenging. So that's a quick breakdown of the two games. Let's get into the real differences. First, I wanna talk about gameplay and just the general feel of both games and also some mechanics. Both games feel really good. Both have amazing gunplay, great gun animations. Moving your character around these maps both feel really, really smooth. Ground Branch does offer a high and low ready for your rifle. While Ready or Not just has low ready, unless you are using a mod. I do personally prefer the gun handling in Ground Branch. It's very similar to Ready or Not, but there's something about Ground Branch I just enjoy more. It might be the way the character holds a rifle as well. It just seems more satisfying to me. Both games allow you to customize your character, but both aren't equal. Ready or Not weapon customization is fairly basic and straightforward. You'll be able to choose what sights, lights, lasers, muzzle and underbarrel attachments you want, and two different ammo types. A choice of assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, pistols, and non-lethal items like the beanbag shotgun and tasers. You will also have two different armor types, either light or heavy armor, and a choice of Kevlar, steel, and ceramic. On top of that, you'll have night vision options, face shields, and goggles, and a gas mask. Now for ground branch customization. This is where you'll really get to play Tactical Barbie. Players can choose between a wide variety of weapons, from assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, pistols, and sniper rifles. But with Ground Branch, you can completely customize all these weapons as much as you would like. Choosing between a massive range of sights, rails, risers, it will also allow you to place those options wherever you would like to on the gun, and not just lock it into one spot. You also have a massive range of clothing, helmets, body armor, boots, gloves, and pretty much everything else you can think of. Even your plate carrier and belts can be customized. Choose whether you want more ammo or more flash grenades, the choice is totally up to you. The AI in Ready or Not is designed to be highly realistic and challenging. The game uses a dynamic AI system that allows enemy AI to respond to the player actions in real time, making each encounter unique and unpredictable. Enemy AI in Ready or Not are able to communicate with each other and coordinate their actions. They can also adapt to different situations and use cover and tactical maneuvers to gain an advantage over the player. The AI is also designed to be highly reactive to the player actions. For example, if the player uses a non-lethal force such as a stun gun or pepper spray, the AI will react accordingly, becoming temporarily incapacitated. This can't be said for your team's AI. I personally choose not to use the AI if I'm playing solo, as they just seem to get in the way more than anything. Their positioning is very weird. You can get them to breach and they'll breach through the doorway, they'll run in, next thing they're just staring at a wall. It's very, very odd. Void Interactive have talked about this and will be looking to update it in a future update. So when that happens, I think it's gonna be a lot, lot better. For the AI in Ground Branch, honestly, there's not much to say about it. You don't have any friendly AI like you do in Ready or Not, but they have shown that they are working on it in the near future. The enemy AI are very basic, which does take away from the immersion of the game. It's either they don't see you or you get aimbotted from 500 meters away. Blackfoot Studios will be introducing the Kythera AI software, 
which is a middleware toolset that greatly enhances AI development. So once that gets implemented, if it ends up like Ready or Not AI or something very similar, it will most likely be a game changer. It still wouldn't stop me from buying this game though. The AI are silly, but everything else does make up for it. Both Ground Branch and Ready or Not offer impressive graphics and sound design. Ground Branch graphics are more realistic and gritty, while Ready or Not has a more stylized and polished look. With Ground Branch's latest update, the lighting that it gives is truly amazing. I really can't choose between the two because I think what they both offer suits both games extremely well. So what I guess I'm saying is they both look great, don't let that make up your decision. Ready or Not has a total of 14 official maps, while Ground Branch has a total of 12 maps. You are able to choose a time of day with Ground Branch, which does make each map feel different if you're playing at day versus playing at night time. Ready or Not doesn't support any PvP and there isn't really any talk that it will be coming anytime soon. Ground Branch does support PvP with their hostage rescue mode and a team deathmatch type mode. Plus with Ground Branch it is possible to make your own type of game mode. We once came up with a Splinter Cell game mode. Three attackers at night with pistols and night vision against PMCs with no night vision and torches, protecting the intel that we had to try and retrieve. It was very fun. You just don't really have those sort of options with Ready or Not. Ready or Not has full mod support. So when I said Ready or Not has 14 maps, they are official Ready or Not maps. There are a lot more modern maps made by the modding community. There is also a bunch of weapon mods, uniform mods, voice mods, mods that will completely change the gameplay and make it a lot better and very immersive. These mods are also very easy to install, very safe, so anyone can use them. Brown Branch doesn't really have official mod support yet, but it will be coming in the future. There is a bunch of uniform mods and weapon mods, but not really modded maps and it's just not on the same sort of scale as what the Ready or Not modding community are. So final thoughts, which game is better? Well, it really depends what you're looking for in a tactical shooter game. If you're after a game with strong emphasis on weapon customization and a more military vibe, then Ground Branch may be the game for you. But on the other hand, if you're after a game with advanced AI, modding support that will allow you to have a ton of maps and uniform options, then Ready or Not may be the game for you. Both Ready or Not and Ground Branch are excellent tactical shooters that offer a unique and immersive gameplay experience. It's up to you to decide which game is the best fit for your personal preferences. So if you did like this video or if you found it helpful or if it just made you more confused, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down, that's perfectly fine. Comment, subscribe and thanks for watching.